Welcome back to our North Salt Lake market update. This is Eric Gardner with HeyEric.com and AXP Realty. And today we're gonna to do a market update for April of 2024 year over year data for North Salt Lake City. Thanks for joining me. Everything in the market is showing signs of health and awesomeness, basically. You know, as I mentioned previously, February and March were pretty stellar, stellar months for the market along Utah in along the Wasatch Front. And North Salt Lake in April was was the same. Looking at year-over-year -year numbers, they were up 38%. Obviously, this is a smaller sample size, but we had 36 new listings happen last month in April, from 26 to 36. Pending sales, those are actually down from 33 to 23, and closed sales were actually up. So because this is a smaller data set, you know, things transact pretty over a 30 day period. But those closed sales being up, those new listings being up is super positive for the North Salt Lake market. It shows transactions are happening. People are listing their homes. And that new listing is important because it shows us that our interest rate lockup that was happening last year, because people had low interest rates, so they weren't listing their home. That looks like it's subsided. It's ended. So more people are listing, more people are moving, whether they need to, they want to, they are, which is positive for the overall market. It's allowing buyers to buy. Uh, days on market, down a ton. So last year was 71 days on market, this year 38, so that, that's positive. Median sales price is up just a hair, 1.3%, up to $480,000. Average sales price down. So like I said, because there's only 36 transactions, you know, if, if one million dollar home sells or one and a half million dollar home sells, that's obviously gonna skew this, but average sales price last year, 574, this year, 536. Seven. Original list price to what was received. So an example of this is if I list for $100,000 and I get an offer and close at $97,000, that's a 97% list, like offer to list price. So last year we were at 92%, this year we're at 97%. Offers are coming in stronger. They're coming in closer to what people are asking for their home. Inventory of homes for sale. This obviously shows us the health of the market. This shows us, you know, that interest rate locked up ending. Like I mentioned last year, we had 36 inventory for sale in April of 2023. This year we have 43. So, you know, that kind of follows that same new listings number. So it's really showing us that people are selling their homes. They're moving. They're, you know, they're not afraid of the interest rates as much anymore. Months of supply is pretty much flat. 1.8 last year, 1.7 this year. So still a seller's market. We know, we know that Utah has been a seller's market for what seems like forever, but it's a healthy market. That's what's great about Utah and North Salt Lake City. We have a very healthy market and North Salt Lake is especially positioned for that because of their proximity to downtown Salt Lake, to the airport, to the freeways. It's, it's an awesome community. So if you have questions about selling your home or about making a plan for your move in this market, schedule a call with me at the link below and have a great day.